How's it going, Bitesers? This is David with Blade Banter. Working here, bringing you specifications you can relate to so you can have an educated decision on your purchases. This is a knife from Civivi, so thank you to them for providing this to the passenger group as well as to the channel. Uh, so, this one is actually one that's going to be given away. Uh, so, stick around, and we'll go through as far as how to do that. And it's going to be easy, super simple, uh, but I guess going off the buy bar or avoid, you could have it for free. Uh, so this is going to be one here. This is what it looks like in pocket. This is in the fifth pocket. Uh, so this is a very small knife. So this one's going to be from Ostop Hell. Uh, so this is going to be the Kai V, K I dash V. So if that's how it's spelled, I don't know what it means. I don't know if it has another meaning to it, but that is what it's called. That's the name of it. Uh, that's going to be this knife here. This one's going to be in the natural G10. So it's a very teeny knife. Uh, so I have about a large size hand, uh, but this is very small. There's a double detent system, and then there's going to be a top flipper, which takes a little bit of practice. So you're going to be flipping it out, so you're going to have that type of thing there, Kiridashi type of design. So it is going to be uh, that type of little uh, utility type of blade uh, setup type of setup. Uh, so that's what that looks like here. So it's a nice blade finish. Now this is going to be kind of that stone wash natural detent so you can dye it any other color you really want to or keep it in this orientation uh, pocket clip there uh, this is going to be one that also does have more of the t6 t8 so normally on the Wii knives they normally have a t8 only uh, but this is going to be a t6 t8 yeah so t6 t8 that's a little bit of a departure from uh, what they normally have because normally they do stick to t 8 um, all the way across, so every single screw would be a T8, but this is going to be a T8, T6, and so that's going to be uh, some of the change for this model here. Double detent, so no lock, uh, so that's going to be uh, operated a little bit differently uh, for this knife. Uh, so it is a little bit difficult to handle left-handed for me, so I am right-hand dominant. Left-handed, uh, I kind of have to kind of force my hand down here, so I have to kind of push it down, and then hopefully I can get it to flip, because then you're kind of, yep, there you go. But it's, it was a lot of practice to even do that. So it was very high prob probability that I would not have been able to do that on uh, camera here. Uh, but that's going to be how this is going to work. So if you want to win this, I won't put it on too much longer because some of you guys are going to just get right in there, uh, enter, and pop right back out. But hopefully you'll stick around because we have some of the things that maybe some other channels don't have. We do have some information as far as what it compares to. Use some quarters, use some pull gauges to get some inf more information uh, for you um, on the knife so you can have that educated decision. But all you have to do is leave a comment and then thumbs up or thumbs down, whichever way you want to do it. But that's all it is. You don't need to subscribe. If you are subscribed, great. If not, then do that. Leave a comment. Thumbs up, thumbs down. There we go. So this is going to be what it looks like here. So I'll get the pants off of there. But this is for weight wise, and this is going to be about 1.4 ounces. And I did fill it right there. Uh, but 1.4 ounces uh, for that, it's just going to be uh, seven quarters. So that's going to be right there. So if you have that available to you, now pick up seven quarters, even though we're having a shortage on coins right now, uh, pick that up. Uh, you can actually see what that is in hand uh, for you. But I guess to give you an understanding of it, if you have a newest iPhone, like an iPhone 12, that weighs 5.73 ounces. Uh, so that's going to be, uh, if you have, if you think that's okay, this is going to be super, super light. Uh, you figure uh, basically a bug out is going to be about uh, 1.8, 1.9 ounces. So that's going to be just really adding two more quarters. And you're going to get from this to that. So very similar to a bug out in weight. So drop a little two quarters on that. And that would be that weight for you there. Uh, so that's going to be how that is set up. It goes right now for about $45. MSRP is about $53. But if you win, then you get it for free. So that's any 50 state. So I'll send it to BC, all of the United States. If you do, are you, if you are international, I will send it to any of the 50 states. If you know anybody that will send it out to you, I'll do that. Send it to them. They'll forward it off to you however they want to do that. So line pull gauge for this one, uh, as far as the extra pull on this, uh, so I put the lime and pull gauge up here, and then this is actually a 1.11 ounces to get that pull. Uh, so actually that closure also, so the pull open is 1.11. Uh, the closure side is going to be 1 pound, um, 1 pound, let see, 0 0.05 ounces. So just right over a pound to close this down. So 
If you don't work with slip joints very often, you are going to want to operate this a little bit differently because it can close down and if it does close down, you do have a little bit of a safety kind of right here uh, where it has that non-sharpened area for it. But, um, so you can cut yourself numb on it. Uh, so that's why probably if I'm going to operate with it, it does have a little bit of uh, texturing right here. So if I'm going to cut it, I'm probably going to cut this way. Uh, so just in case it closes down, I will close and not cut me. Uh, so that's going to be the way I would operate uh, with this knife here. Um, for that double heated type of system. Uh, for me, I was able to cut boxes with it, but once I got into like you know, strapping or some other type of material, I didn't feel uh, very confident in using it, and that's maybe just a personal preference on it, uh, but uh, that's where it kind of had uh, some of the limitations uh, for the knife uh, for my preference. Uh, this one is going to be uh, one that is uh, blade length is about 1.54. Uh, that's going to be from this point to this one, a Kiridashi blade. Uh, that's going to be a flat grind at about 8 degrees. Uh, so now, I guess a kitchen knife is going to be about 2, even 2 to 3 uh, degrees. Uh, so that's where you're going to get through those uh, thicker materials really well uh, for the knife. Uh, so this is going to be about 8 degrees on this one, 9CR18 MOV. So about 440s type of steel is going to be where that is. So it's kind of that budget steel still. Still, they feel that's a little bit of an upgrade from 8CR, but kind of the same in that market. It's going to be easy to sharpen. Uh, won't last forever, but easy to get your edge back, uh, which is a nice thing for that. Uh, handle is going to be 2.39 uh, inches. And then uh, behind the edge thickness uh, for this one is going to be about five sheets of paper. So about 20,000. So behind the edge thickness there. So if you get five sheets of paper out from your printer, that's going to be what that will be uh, for yourself. So you can see what that really means as far as behind the edge. Uh, so you have those two things put together. So behind the edge plus uh, you're going to have that prim primary grind, which is going to be 8 degrees. So it's not going to be super slicey. I know that uh, a lot of the emphasis is on that behind the edge thickness. Uh, but sometimes that behind the edge can get there from having a, a really steep uh, you see a secondary bevel uh, that can get that for, um, for the knife as well. So that's going to be one thing to look at uh, for that. Uh, this one has, uh, as far as the pocket clip goes, that was probably the biggest drawback for me. I uh, guess with it being a small knife, a fifth pocket would be the way to go. At least that's the way that I thought it would. And uh, But this one was very difficult to get out of the pocket. And so um, I was like, well, what's going on with that? If it was my knife and it was only fifth pocket, I would bend this clip up a little bit. Uh, it has a really good clearance for it. Uh, so it does have a recess. Uh, that little pot clip doesn't get in the way. So in and out of the pocket is good uh, for it. Um, but uh, right now in this orientation, uh, that was about three pounds, almost four pounds, 311 uh, was the pull on that to get it out of that fifth pocket. Uh, so that's going to be, again, just the resistance on it. So for the furthest point or the highest level of resistance, uh, to pull it out of the pocket was almost four pounds. So it's taking this knife that is 1.4 ounces and then uh, it takes almost four pounds to get it out of the pocket. Uh, and that's gonna be quite a lot. And then for a regular pocket, not the fifth pocket, uh, was like two pounds, uh, 2.5 ounces. So that was very acceptable for the other pocket, which is a regular one where I'm gonna have my wallet and whatnot. Uh, but eh, not the best for that. But it takes getting used to uh, for this knife. Uh, two end open is going to be a good way to use it. Two end close, uh, kind of more of that really traditional style. So that's where it's a top flip or traditional uh, as far as getting this blade open. But that is going to be really the ones that you have for that. I brought up some of the small knives as far as comparison, just so you can get an idea. So this is going to be uh, this knife here. Uh, this is a little Bastion. This is a Bastion Mini Brew. Uh, one that I keep in my personal collection. I brought out this one and I was like, okay, well, that will work. So this is the um, the Ladybug from Spyderco. And this is going to be a Wesson. And there's their micro, I think, micro flip. Uh, but that's going to be, I think, their first one they went through Kickstarter on. I'm going to be selling that because I don't carry that. And then you're going to have Bug Out. We'll switch these out. So Bug Out. So very big difference on that one. That is a regular size Bug Out. Uh, for that knife and of course we're going to throw in the other knife which is going to be the Solaris which 
looks humongous in comparison. And second production run is done, uh, so that's gonna be on its way. I'll be at Blade Show West, so if you are there, stop by. I'll be at the QSP booth as well. Um, basically, I have a table right next to them. So we have QSP and Orion Knives. So you can actually handle uh, the next run, which will have a little bit more chamfering here and as long, as long as the grip area, and also have uh, the mini uh, Solaris uh, prototypes to actually handle too. So it, that is about it, but uh, buy Bar Avoid, I wouldn't buy it, but if you're gonna get it for free, just put a like or a thumb down, thumbs up, and a comment. You're entered in, I'll do a drawing on it, and I'll give this knife away, send it to all the 50 states if you would like it. So free $45 knife if you're interested. But that's all I have to say about that one today.